Welcome back to PDQPD. On this edition of PDQPD, I want to show you two updates to Google Docs that have just occurred recently. Um, in fact, so recently that they may not be available in your environment yet, but they should be populating to all domains very soon. The first is some new options when inserting images into documents, and the second is an added ability to copy comments in a document. This previous to now has not been available. Let's start with the images. I have on the screen here a copy of the Gettysburg Address, and what I'd like to do is I'm going to insert an image. So let me find a space here in which to insert an image. I'm going to go up here to the Insert menu. Now before, when you went to this image icon, you would click on that and it would bring up a new window that gave you some options for inserting images into your computer. This is very similar. You have the option to upload from computer, search the web, select from your drive, select from your photos, and by URL. Now there's a couple of changes here. The first is before you could select from your albums, but this gives you the option to go directly to your Google Photos and select any photo. The second you may notice, and this is one that will disappoint some folks, they have taken away the option to take a snapshot. Before, in that window that opened, you could click the take a snapshot and it would use the camera on your computer to take a picture. And this was great for students to take pictures showing what they've done and inserting it into a document very easily and quickly. That option has gone away. But just let me show you quickly how to insert from the options that are available. And I'm going to select the most obvious here. If, um, if I were to select upload from computer, it would give me all the pictures on my computer, but I'm going to go to search the web. It opens a pane along the right hand side where I can type in the topic that I want to search. I'm going to select Abraham Lincoln. Brings me up a bunch of options here. I can select one of those options and select insert. And it brings the picture into the document. At that point I can select it and resize as I would like. Drive would allow me to select from my Google Drive. Photos would allow me to select from all my Google Photos that are linked to this account. And by URL, if I had already found a picture and copied the URL, I could enter it here. This brings up a box where I can insert the URL of the image that I'm choosing. I can paste that URL. It will bring up the picture and I can insert it. And again, once it's inserted, I can resize it. Now, this second feature is one that has been requested a lot, and especially for English teachers who are reviewing drafts of writing and inserting comments. This is a way that you can copy the comments along with the document. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to select something here in which I want to comment. So I'm going to select the word hello, add a comment. and the comment is out to the side of the document. Now when I want to copy this, I go to File, select Make a Copy, and you'll notice that there is a new option here to select Copy Comments and Suggestions. If I just want to copy the document itself, I will not check this, but if I want to also copy the comments, I can check this and click OK. Now you'll notice it's made a copy of the document and as I scroll down the comment is there and it is live. You can see that it still allows me to resolve it but I'm only resolving it from the copy. It also gives me this alert that says comments are copied from the original document. If I wanted to resolve this I could just resolve that comment and when I go back to my original the comment is still there. So I'm only working with the copy. This is a way that you can save the comments on copies and go back and work on those separately. Those are the two updates that Google has just come out with with documents, a new way to insert images, and the option to copy comments alongside a document. Hope this PDQPD was helpful to you, and as always, have a great day.